Hey guys, Meredith here. So today I'm going to be doing my March favorites. And yes, I know it's been a really long time since I've done these videos, but I thought I would bring them back because a lot of you guys were asking for them and I love doing them. So today I'm going to show you what I've been loving in the month of March. Okay, so let's start off with beauty products. The first thing I've been loving a lot this month, I just dropped it, is my new brow pencil. And this is by the brand Anastasia or Anastasia, either one. And it's the Brow Wiz. I have I used it today to fill in my eyebrows. This color is in, I think it's soft brown. They have a lot of colors. It took me a while to figure out which one was the best match, but this one is awesome. And what's really cool about this is it has a spoolie on the other end, so when I travel, all I need is this one little pencil, and I'm good to go. Next up, I have a new favorite blush. This is from Tarte, and it's in the shade True Love. It is a really good combination of red and pink. It is so gorgeous. I've been using this as my go-to blush lately, and it just gives a really nice flush and kind of glow to your skin. It is beautiful. I recently just bought this new bronzer, and it is by Too Faced, and it's their Milk Chocolate Soleil in light medium. This bronzer smells like chocolate. It gives you this amazing, just sun-kissed glow, and especially because it's now spring, I guess. Is it spring? Yeah, it's spring. And then summer, it's just gonna be my go-to bronzer, so I've been loving this. Next, I've been using this lip balm like crazy. I showed this in my morning routine for New York and a bunch of you guys were asking what it is. It's the Nivea A Kiss of Care and Color in the shade Sheer Berry. It is so beautiful. I have it on my lips right now. And what I love about this is it's so moisturizing and it gives off such a pigmented color when you put it on. Next, I have been using this little baby and this is the Grease Lightning from Lush. So what I do with this is I put it on before I put my makeup on in the morning. So after I wash my face and tone, I put this on and then put my makeup on and I find that it makes my skin a lot more matte than it usually would be because throughout the day I'll find that I get a little bit oily and I'll need to use blotting papers. Okay, so if you couldn't tell, I've been a little bit obsessed with purple lately. So this nail polish, okay, it matches my shirt perfectly. That is cool. This is my go-to nail polish right now. It is by Sally Hansen. It's their Extreme Wear, and I got it in the color Lacy Lilac. So this nail polish has been my go-to. I just love this purple color. It looks great for spring, and it just really looks good on my nails. My last beauty favorite for the month of March is my Burberry perfume, and this is called Burberry Brit for Women by Burberry. Let me just spray it really quick so I remember what it smells like. Oh yeah. When I went to BeautyCon, a viewer asked me what I was wearing, so if you were wondering what, I, what perfume I had on that day, it was this perfume, and I just love it. I think this will be a favorite for many months to come, not just March, so this is a keeper. Moving on to my fashion favorites, this first favorite is something that I just will not take off my arm, and that is this American Apparel watch. And I bought it for $10 because they were having a sale, and originally I think it was like 30, and then it went down to 10, and that's just amazing because I asked my dad, I was like, Dad, look at my new watch. How much do you think I paid for it? And he was like, $100. I was like, ha ha ha, no, $10. He was like, oh my gosh. So yeah. I love this watch. My next favorite are these shoes, and you guys probably recognize them because I showed them in my travel video. These are my Adidas Originals, and these are the Superstar. These are just my go-to shoes because they go with everything. Like, that's just why I love them. And they're really comfortable. That was what I was gonna say. These shoes are so comfortable. They have a really good instep, and they support my arches really, really well, so I have been Loving these babies. My last fashion favorite is this backpack, and you guys have probably seen it if you saw my morning routine for New York City. I brought this thing with me and I wore it every single day. I love this backpack because first off, it's really cute. Second off, it's really versatile. I can carry so much in here. I put my wallet in here, my phone. I even kept a scarf, a hat, and a small jacket in this backpack when I was in New York. It just saved me. I love this thing. Moving on to random favorites. So this is kind of embarrassing, but I'm gonna show you anyways. I've been obsessed with saltines lately, and the reason I said it was embarrassing was because I ate this whole box, well, almost the whole box yesterday. 
Um, I keep these big boxes in my cupboard so that when I get a craving for saltines, they're right there for me to eat. And I swear, I think I eat these with almost every meal of the day. I had them with breakfast yesterday. Yeah, don't judge me on that one. These just taste so good. And I'm that person that would rather have something salty over something sweet. So when I'm craving a little something salty, this is what I go to. Moving on. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so when I was in Austin, Texas, this last past week was it I think yes this viewer gave me this super sweet and thoughtful gift and it says on the bottom to Mare from Mary meet and greet Austin March 15th 2015 on the top it says Queen oh no girl you are the Queen so inside she just wrote down all these sweet little letters to me and the first one says Lacey is the cutest thing on the planet earth I agree with you on that one. This is so sweet and honestly, I love going to this during the day and just reading what you guys write because it makes me so happy and I want you guys to know how much you inspire me daily. These kinds of things mean so much to me, so thank you so much, Mary. I recently met a viewer named McKenna and she gave me this really, really adorable gift. She actually made one of my DIYs. This is the Sharpie mug and it says, always classy, never trashy, and a little bit she drew an elephant on there because she knows I love elephants and inside pistachios so thank you so much McKenna I love you okay so for my last part of my March favorites I wanted to share with you guys some of my music must-haves this month and probably for the rest of my life just because I recently had like a music epiphany I realized how much I love and appreciate old music and the sound and I wanted to share with you guys some of my few songs from my playlist that I just created and it's called hipster doofus okay now let me just explain this um, before you think I'm really weird, which you probably already do. This is from a reference from Seinfeld when Elaine calls Kramer a hipster doofus. You stupid hipster doofus! <laughs> so I thought it was funny and I, you know, called my playlist that. Okay. So I would say my top 10 favorite songs out of this playlist, and mind you, there's 84 songs and it's probably going to increase. I would say my top 10 songs from this playlist are Jesse's Girl by Rick Springfield, Queen Bohemian Rhapsody, The Outfield's I Don't Want to Lose Your Love, or I think that's what it's called. The one that's like, Josie's on a vacation far away. That one. Carry On My Wayward Son, Kansas. Queen, Somebody to Love. Dobby Gray, Drift Away. Boston, More Than a Feeling. Billy Joel, Vienna. Beach Boys, Wouldn't It Be Nice. ABBA, Dancing Queen. So those are all my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed and remember to leave a comment below telling me what your March favorite was and give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for spring because I am very excited for spring and warmer weather. Let me just tell you, it's getting warmer here in California and I am just like, hallelujah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, Mare Bears, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. And then I also have one of those protection sheets on my phone so that it doesn't get all scratched up because I am clumsy and that would happen with me.